Hi from Fabrizio and welcome to this new lesson about uh, Google APT client library for PHP lesson 1 introduction and um, you can find the, the article on my site that it is knowledge solutions and uh, but it is uh, on Italy you can change uh, on your language uh, we with this uh, label on the left uh, of uh, the site, and uh, I use now the, the language English uh, from um, for the translation from Italian language. I explain uh, all about Google API key, and uh, at the end uh, I do an example to uh, show what it is uh, and. Uh, if you have some question, you can ask to me and go on to start the lesson. And what is API key? Uh, we see now in, in this lesson to talk about the Google API key API client library for PHP. At the time of this writing, it is still in a better version, but it is not final. We try to do a bit of uh, clarity on this as uh, it can be a bit confusing to those are not exactly versed in the field. The API key in the OOT 2.0 protocol were born with the intention of ensuring secure, secure uh, remote authentication in financial transactions. Now, obviously, they are used for the purposes, but uh, uh, there will also talk at length about this. In any case, as the name implies, an API key is nothing but a key that allows us to apply an application. His full name is uh, Application Programming Interface Key that we pass a code that identify and uh, as and identify a service that we want to use. Since that moment, that after the passage API key until terminated or its refresh, we can use the service. Uh, get uh, Google API key. Uh, it is very simple operation. You will need to have a, a Google account and go to the site indicated by Google. Uh, if you click uh, here, you can find the URL for uh, the, uh, the right site of Google and click on that key. Uh, I'm sorry, there is uh, an error of production, translation, uh, but a project. You, unless you already have one you use, click enable at it and will deliver it you a code which is precisely your API key. Preserve it. This is uh, an image of the page that you found on the site of Google and uh, in this page you must click key here on key get a key. And now we see the authorization API access. Once you have uh, uh, you have your API key, we move to the next step. Click API console, and uh, this is the image of the API console. Because we need to guarantee certain right to your application, I, I make a premise uh, in this first uh, phase will uh, try to give a general overview of the problem and floor plan will come specifically. Uh, that generate uh, uh, key for each Google wants to know scope, uh, for example, purpose. So, for example, an API key that uh, has uh, the purpose of reading uh, a document cannot also have uh, a purpose of writing. Refresh and access token that uh, it is uh, after these have run uh, its course must uh, uh, guarantee him uh, our permission, and so you have uh, to refresh the token. 
and Google says be careful you uh, you you bet this token that just is not discovered client ID and client secret this is, uh, that is a pair of code formed by a client identifier and uh, its secret key some of uh, requests Google wants to know that ask uh, for your permission to use and the user who wants to make use of the application of which you are creating the project. But you do a project using a Google service can be activated with the IPT and Google reserves the rights. However, to ask the user making the request. If he is aware that by accepting it use allow the application to know certain things. How to know your position, how to know your friend, on Google Plus, etc. etc. This is an introduction of that we are going to do. See you to the next lesson on little moment.